I'm Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. Uh, today's video, we'll be talking about the teaser we got for House of the Dragon. This is a prequel to the Game of Thrones series coming to HBO Max in 2022. Um, we've seen a lot of casting news and a lot of people, like uh, a lot of just like uh, promotion, but we hadn't really seen any footage until today. Uh, so let's go take a look at the House of the Dragon teaser, and then we'll talk about this Game of Thrones, I mean, it's 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 a whole big can of worms with Game of Thrones anyways. Uh, so let's go check that out, and we'll be right back. All right, here's the official teaser for HBO Max, uh, House of the Dragon. All the Targaryens. So 200 years before the fall of the Thrones. gods. Okay. We saw that dragon at the, under the kings. The throne. Fire. And blood. Oh. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Um, I, I mean, looks. I understand a lot of people were not happy with the end of Game of Thrones. I was fine with it. You know, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones, I still recommend you do. I think it's overall a, an enjoyable ride. Uh, now we know a few things that separate this show from that, right? I think the big issue with Game of Thrones um, stemmed from the books not being out, so they ran out of material to adapt and they were kind of going on just based on notes and stuff uh so with this this is different right because this all takes place uh before uh so this all comes from i would think books and, and material and supplemental materials that george R. R. Martin may have written uh so this all has a basis for it but it, it's kind of like it really feels like its own completely original thing uh i don't know if this comes from a specific uh, a book or volume or something, uh, something that George Murray may have written. Uh, but I'm excited. I always really, I found the Targaryen story uh, very interesting whenever they would, you know, talk back about the the old days. Um, so, so yeah, I'm interested to see what was, you know, what was going on 200 years ago. Uh, and obviously we know the, inter the interesting thing about a show like this is that we know kind of where things end up going, right? Because we've seen Game of Thrones and we know that eventually the Mad King rises to power, then loses the throne and all that. So so I'm interested to see what the, you know, I don't think this is a show that can last forever. I would think maybe only a few seasons at most if it's successful. Uh, but I'm excited. I believe that was Matt Smith, which very, very interesting look. Uh, I believe Naomi Watts is also in this show. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, like I said, I like Game of Thrones a lot uh, overall, and this, despite despite maybe not fully sticking the landing. I still enjoy the last season. I think I've, I've, I've been very open about that. I don't, I don't have a big problem with the, with the last season like a, a lot of people do, but I understand what they do. Um, I don't know that, uh, I don't know that uh, the creators of the original Game of Thrones show are involved as much with this one. So, yeah, I think we're going to get a, it'll be kind of a small, fresh reboot type of thing. So I'm looking forward to this. So, but let me know what you think of this teaser. Uh, let me know if you like Game of Thrones season. I hope that's not uh, too triggering for a lot of people. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the last season. Um, and I'm excited. We'll keep covering this stuff because I'm a big fan of this. Um, I mean, HBO is just putting out amazing stuff, so. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the bell when uh, so you know when we go live. That is most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. 
we're diving into the spooky stuff for October. Uh, so we'll continue in that way. And then check out our Patreon. We have a link in the description um, to get advanced videos and stuff like that. So we appreciate everyone that supports us. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.